This look gives the car a very low drag coefficient at a mere 0.195. The best in class with highly aerodynamic design, with eight air vents and 17 authentic aerodynamic vents. Last year, last time, we released three colors. People love it. And now, let's look at them again. Aqua blue, verdant green, and mineral gray. Mineral gray is very, very premium color and popular with so many people. A few days ago, our stores are open, and many say that the cars look better in person because the shape is so slinky and it doesn't look as good on picture. So I invite you to look at it, take a look in store. And today, we'll release six more colors. Been waiting for an open door And in the end I swore I said Aren't they pretty, these six colors? So we release nine colors. They look great together. And let's have a look. These nine colors are divided into four color series. The first is sports car color series. Second, stylish color series premium color series and classic color series. We cater to different tastes of all customers. The color of a car is so important. And let me go through them one by one. The first is Meteor Blue. And people call it cream blue online. It's a very soft, shallow blue, refreshing, relaxing and healing color. Let's look at it from different angles. Looks quite good, right? Next, radiant purple. Purple is the color of romance and mystery. With a special formula metallic, it gives extra sparkle under the sun. It's stunning. And how to present it? Not long ago, my alma mater, Wuhan University's Sakura season arrived. And some suggest, how about we do a photo shooting at Wuhan University? This is the result. It's so pretty. And on the day of the shooting, some passerby saw a car and they took some photos and it sparked a discussion online. So this color was designed for female customers. But I heard that many male customers are also very fond of it. And I would also like to recommend another color to you, basalt gray, low-key, great texture, very upscale. Let's look at it from different angle. A very low profile color. And we have a very bold color for you called lava orange. A highly saturated color, enthusiastic, 
energetic, very pretty. Because our logo is orange, so we offer all kinds of orange. Let's look at it from different angles. And the picture does not do it justice. So, if you have the opportunity, please take a look in person in the exhibition hall. You have to be cool enough to drive such a color. The next one is pearl white. It's not the ordinary white. We added pearl powder that creates dimension and depth. It's very comfy and very easy on the eye. Next, diamond black. It's not the usual black. We also added a metallic. So it's a mixture of black and deep blue, a very classy color. And that's why it's really a hard choice. And But white and black are always safe choices. I'd like to show you different angles. So these are the four color series and nine colors, with each color being unique and distinctive. And five of them are metallic. Speaking of this, many people are, love aqua blue. I'm very happy to hear that because this is way beyond my expectation. Usually, it's very rare for a passenger or vehicle to use such a highly saturated color. It's usually reserved for a million-dollar luxury car because to make these color long-lasting and fade resilient for 20 years, it sets very high requirements for the process and it's very expensive. And that's why it's usually preserved for uh, race cars. And we have made great efforts to bring it to SU7. We spend so much time and energy on developing each paint. It takes a dozen months, lots of money to develop the paint. And I would like to tell you um, the whole development process, but that's a story for, the next, uh, for another time. So we also have four colors for the interior. The galaxy gray, sunset red, mist purple, obsidian black. So four colors for interior, nine colors for exterior. So you can pick and choose for your, to your own liking. And let's look at the design details of SU7. After we released the designs last time, people are very fond of the water drop headlights, halo taillights, active rear spoiler, flowing curve, hidden door handle. Today, I'd like to tell you more about of our water drop headlights. EV today usually use split headlights, ultra-narrow headlights, all cookie-cutter designs. And when we design SU7, we want a unique look. The water drop headlights has a very slinky shape. It blends in perfectly. So three years ago, we gave up on the split headlights plan. And the light actually um, looks just like our logo. And it shines a powerful beam far and wide across roads. It shines 400 meters ahead. That's 14 basketball courts at together. Its low beam shines very wide angle, 160 degree. So it actually shines both far and wide. We also have ADB adaptive headlights. So we can automatically switch between high beam and low beam without blinding the other drivers. So it's a very useful function for evening driving. And about wheels and tires, I realized the importance of them after I entered the EV market. The 
The wheel size and designs are part of a look. The tire determines the performance range of a car. So how can we provide the best tires and wheels? So we have different sizes. It starts with 19-inch wheel, 19, 20, and 21. And we also have the low drag wheel and the three types of sports wheel. And we have a wheel which looks like a seven. And also we have the different types of the uh, wheels, the multi-spoke sports wheel and plant blossom wheels. Also, we have developed four types of tires. For example, they are all from the international brands. For example, we have the 19-inch Michelin low rolling resistance tires, and it costs about 5,000 to 6,000 even in Denmark. We also have the 19-inch Bristone Comfort tire. We also have the 20-inch Michelin Quiet tire. The tire noise is much smaller. Also, we have especially prepared for the people who pursue the performance. We have prepared for them the P0 tire from Pirelli to achieve the utmost performance. In order to make it more small, sporty, we also provide the narrow front wide rear design. The rear is wider. The aim is to enhance the grip of the rear wheels to enhance the best dynamic performance. So we have exerted huge efforts in such kind of details. Next, I want to introduce the interior design. We have the wraparound cockpit. It's simple and classy, and the uh, passenger space is very comfortable. In the video, I said that I, uh, I am one um, 0.81 meters, and everything that I'm bragging, and actually I'm not. And uh, some people even got some pictures uh, of me and Li Bing, and uh, he looks taller than me. But I want to emphasize that I'm actually 1.81. Okay. So when we design the car, we use the 1.88 meters of dummy for the design. You will not feel depressed in the front or rear seats. When we designed the vehicle, we designed the integrated sport-style seats, and we also adopted the high-density memory foam to ensure the comfort for short-range driving and also, you will not feel tired for the long range driving. Also, we use the Napa full green Napa leather. It's very soft, it's very comfortable, and it's skin friendly. It is certified, it's also safe for the babies. They are very good materials. We are equipped with very good sound system. We have 25 speakers, sound system, and support the Adobe Atmos, and also we have equipped the high rest speakers for all the models. So when you listen to the music, you will hear that, hear the navigation from the high rest speaker, and it will not disturb the other passengers in the vehicle. This is a very sweet design. We have a very big trunk, which is big enough for a whole set of camping equipment. We also have a very big front trunk. This size of front track, only the most advanced dedicated BV platform can achieve that. It can contain 105 liters of things. So what can it be used for? For example, you can put your takeaway food there, and you can also put your fishing gear in the front trunk. It is very practical. Apart from that, we have 32 storage spaces in the whole vehicle. It's very exaggerated, right? I used to joke with them that the SU7 is a monster of storage. In the interest of time, I will just give you a few examples. We have lots of storage spaces. For example, when we reviewed the picture, some people asked, what are the two rivets on the IB platform for? Is that just the for good looking? Actually not. That is a dedicated standard M6 screw size, one on each side. And also there's another one under the rear view mirror. There is also a charging space under the rear view mirror. 
it is for the uh, phone mount here. You can also install a GoPro here. So the media professionals, if you are interested in the SU7, actually we have a very good design for you. And actually, lots of car makers do not consider the phone mount. I tested lots of phone holders, and uh, they are not very good. In good, so I tested for lots of times, and I said to myself that we need to make very good phone mount. We also have two phone storage spaces at the central console supporting 50 watts of wireless fast charging. And also we have a phone storage at the door of the front seat, passenger seat. So you will not forget your phone when you get off the vehicle. Also, at the central console, we have two large cup holders. It's good enough for two large cups of coffee. Then we have under the central console, there is a storage space for the flashlight. Here we have two hidden hooks. You can hang a plastic bag or your takeaway food. This flashlight is very practical. Yes, also a product from our company. I want to briefly introduce the flashlight. It is a glare flashlight. It goes very far. Also, it can also be a seat belt cutter and a window breaker. Also, it is a power bank. So if you have that in your car, it would be very practical. Under the uh, Armrest the box, there is a 4.6 liter space. It's within the reach of the passengers, both at the front and the rear seats. When we talk about the uh, smart refrigerator, actually, I had a car with the refrigerator. I used that once and I just abandoned that. Because if you put one Coke inside, then when you make a turn, it wobbles. It's very annoying. So when we designed the uh, smart refrigerator, we has especially designed this anti-roll mat. No matter you put one can or three cans of Coke, it won't wobble. Also, I want to especially introduce this super extra large glove box. We have some engineer users who would like to take the laptop on a vehicle. And it's unsafe to put it in a car when you leave the car. And it's very troublesome to put it in a trunk. So we have this glove box. You can put the laptop here. That is very convenient. We also have lots of story spaces. I will not go into the details. I think when we design a product, we do not design just for beauty or appearance. We also design for experience. I want to give you an example. We designed this panoramic glass roof. It's very spacious. It looks very transparent. It's good looking. And the glass area is up to 5.35 square meters. I want to make it very spacious. And then when we talk with the potential users, a female Tesla driver said, well, it feels like an oven when you see it inside such kind of car, wouldn't it? Hot in summer. Well, then we take this as a main pain point. How do we address that? The first thing we do is to make a double layer sewer plating for the panoramic glass roof with 99.9% .9 of UV isolation, 99.1% of infrared ray isolation. And then we find another serious point is the front windshield shield. It's even much hotter. And uh, many female drivers will wear the sandblock sleeves because it's pretty hot for the front windshield. So we use the uh, three layer sewer plating to isolate the 99.5% of the UV and 97.6% of infrared ray. This is the only 
car using three layers of silver plating. Also, we use the UVIR coating for the windows of the four doors with the uh, UV isolation reaching 99.9%. If we translate that into the sand cream, that is equivalent to SPF 100 plus or PA 4 plus. So that is highly sand proof. At the rear seats, we also designed the privacy glass. You do not need to do further paint work. Then how good is that in terms of the sand block? We made a test. We left the car in 38 degrees sunshine for 90 minutes. It's a very common weather during the summertime in Beijing and now to say the southern city of China. So we make a comparison with Model 3. Model 3 is like a global benchmark. It's outstanding. So we compare with Model 3. Can you imagine that after the test, we are 12 degree cooler than Model 3. So you can also take a temperature gun with you to test. I was also amazed at that time. Within one and a half hours, the temperature becomes very hot. And I think SU7 is not only good looking, it is sunproof. And uh, we also have a separate ultra thin panoramic glass roof sand blaze, and we also have the sand shade for the front windshield. Do you think this is uh, good enough? And some people may say that is not. So we have designed this ultra thin sand blinds. Apart from that, we made the sand shade for the front windshield. They are of high quality and they are very easy to store. Then that is like an all-round protection. Pretty soon we will enter summer. Many places in China are very hot and people will bring sun umbrella. After one or two months in my hometown, we will enter the plum rain season, so there will be lots of rains. I do not like the umbrella and the water when we put that into the vehicles. So we have designed the umbrella storages at the front doors. It's very convenient. Also, we have the uh, umbrella storages at the uh, rear seats. So we have solved the soundproof. We have solved the umbrella thing. This is the interior and exterior design of the Xiaomi SU7. We made a lot of efforts, and we are very delighted last year to have Mr. Chris Bangle to be our design consultant. He is the top 10 auto designer in the world, and he is the former vice president of design BMW. I believe that having him as our design consultant, he will help us to move Xiaomi Auto to the next level. I would like to welcome Mr. Chris Bangle to the stage. Hi. Thanks, Welcome. Thank hi, guys. Wow. Hi. My name is Chris Bangle, and I'm super excited to be here at the very first Xiaomi EV launch event. Thank you very much for having me. This is really, really cool. Isn't that a great car? Isn't that a beautiful car? I mean, ah. Oh. That was my first impression of when I saw the Xiaomi SU7 was, damn, what a great car. You know, of all the products, I really like cars the best because I believe cars are more than just, just a tool to get you from A to B to move you. Cars are they're avatars, avatars of yourself. They represent who you are. And when I saw the Xiaomi SU7, that was my immediate thought. Here is a car that a lot of people are going to identify with and say it's a wonderful expression of themselves. Beautiful. Now, it's not what I expected from Xiaomi because they're known for a design language which is very, very reserved and not emotional like this car. I've been to Xiaomi stores, and I really like their products. They have a really calm, minimalist vibe. But cars, cars need to express movement, energy. And the SU7, with these well-defined curves and sculpted forms, 
this enters this whole new expression of boldness. And now, this entry into sportiness, well, that's fantastic. But still, it's packaged for a family and everyday use. I was really excited because it was so different from what I expected from Xiaomi and very impressive for their very first crack at a car. Well done. I had a lot of fun driving the SU-7. And what impressed me was how powerful it was. The way it accelerated, well, made me immediately call it, this is a rocket horse. That was actually my expression, rocket horse. You know, horses are very powerful and very intelligent animals. And this car felt like that, but kind of to power of 10. Rocket horse. You know, my wife likes horses. This car would be a great car to have back in Europe. Oh, well. <laughs> Try. <laughs> I think the, the recent... Ah, see? I think the recent European debut impressed many people that the Xiaomi SU7 is a wonderful example of the Chinese EV industry. It's a complete and visually stunning car. And I'm also confident that this marks an excellent beginning for the Xiaomi EV group. And I look forward to seeing them continue to push the boundaries and create future-ready masterpieces as they go forward. Congratulations. Congratulations, team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For a car, we do not just want it to be good looking, but also we want it to be drivable. I want to design a very drivable car. A drivable car means that when you drive it, it's a kind of enjoyment. Every time you step on the gas, every time you make a turn, every time you step on the brake, you can feel a strong sense of control, and the car can read your mind and take you to anywhere you want. For a good car, performance is the foundation. The Xiaomi SU7 has class-defining speed. How fast is that? We have 2.78 seconds of 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration. It's comparable to middle level luxury cars. And the max speed is up to 265 km per hour. That is amazing. Also, we can also have the very good speed from 0 to 260 to 80, 80 to 120, and 120 to 160, and even 0 to 400 straight dash. On uh, every dimension, it has very strong performance. So, for every dimension, we target ourselves at the Taycan. When we watch the videos of our cars, we feel very passionate. Wow. This is very exaggerated performance. That owes that to the uh, dual motor 
and also the DAWD, we have 673 horsepower and 338 newton meters of peak torque, and it is comparable to the 4.0 turbocharging V8 sports car. It owes that to the Xiaomi hypermotor 21,000 RPM. So it is outstanding performance. Also here, I want to say that even under minus 15 degree, the performance output is also very robust. We know that the uh, electric vehicles is highly influenced by the temperature, for example, Model 3 performance. The uh, 0 to 100 acceleration is reduced, but for us, we maintain the very good 0 to 100 acceleration. That also that to the low temperature, high power battery. So in the winter time, the performance is not compromised. Apart from the performance, we also have very good driver's experience. We have dedicated design for the drivers. For example, the steering wheel, the seats, the dashboards, and the UHD are all central axle asymmetric. And also, we have very good grip for the steering wheel. We have two physical buttons. One button to start autopilot and another button to start a booster model. So it's very easy to drive and to make it easier to drive easily. So many of the buttons, we still keep the physical buttons. In addition, we provide the 7.1 inch rotating display. So when it rotates, you feel a, a feeling of ceremony. And in this car, what I think I did really well is the super big 56-inch HUD. Why I want to emphasize on HUD? Because several of my cars have HUD. If it's not adjusted well, it, it can be very annoying. Sometimes I had to turn off the HUD. Sometimes I even feel it, it is such a unnecessary function. That's why we have made a lot of efforts to adjust and tune HUD to make sure the display and screen is very clear. That's why we provided 56-inch HUD. Last time when I was driving from Shanghai to Beijing, the first experience I got was it's a really big HUD. What we did is we have a 7.7-meter focus distance and it is able to adjust the brightness and the intensity of lights. The comparison is 1,500 to 1 contrast ratio, and the brightness is 13,000 nits. The driving sensation is very well, and even on the driver's, driver's seat, we have the proactive seat booster. It means that when you're making a turn, it's able to inflate proactively to give you a good support. It's a, only a configuration comes with a luxury car. But with this, you can feel that it's, it has a very good support. And apart from all the good configurations, we have made a lot of efforts on the driving sensations. Today, the mechanical part of, of vehicles is already mature. But with the sense of awe, we started, we started to build a team of experts and focusing on underlying core technology. We built Modera architecture. In our, in our smart chassis, we are leading the industry. And all of the suppliers in the smart chassis are well-known suppliers in the industry. All of them are very well-known as well as the control algorithms of the smart chassis combine smart with driving in seamlessly. And how well do our ch chassis perform? We have invited our media friends to do a test drive. And their comment is, it is very easy to drive. The ch chassis tuning is excellent. And they say there must be some gurus in Xiaomi. Now let's check out the test drive videos of our media friends.
驾驶性、基础性的一些调教做的是非常的呃完善和成熟的，尤其是比如说我们的动力的曲线。Bolt 加的这个模式跟它的舒适模式。性格反转是差别非常大的，在运动调教的基础之上，还会有一个非常有韧性的这种感觉。整车车的方向盘和踏板的操作其实非常的精准，而且带给驾驶者极强的这种操控的信心感。整个底盘的反馈，包括方向的反馈，以及整个座椅的这种配合，会觉得跟我整个的这种驾驶的意图是非常非常相符的。整体的一个转向以及它的一个静谧性，我觉得它真的是一台开起来质感非常非常高级的一台车。有一些部分甚至可以说是目前行业里面。绝无仅有。操控、舒适、智能，比较符合年轻人开车的性格。这个脚感转向配合这个小声浪，哎呀，给你的感觉还是非常棒。底盘对于俯仰和侧倾的意志都非常的到位，操控性非常的好，视野也非常通透，动力真的是非常的厉害，没有任何突兀感，很舒服，完成度非常高啊，非常聪明，非常惊喜，好看，沉稳、优秀、老道。And another comment from them is they say the driving sensation is very well. And what are the high quality part? First is they say it's very highly responsive, means it responds quickly to one step. So even for the base model, even in normal city roads, just one simple step on the pedal, you feel the responsive steering experience. We know that Model 3 has a really good responsive experience, but we also provide a very good responsive experience. And second is precise steering, especially when you change change lanes at medium to high speeds, it responds to you lane changing and steering very quickly. And third, in the term in terms of the tuning, when they are Providing you with the road information. Actually, a really good car. It doesn't. It retains the feel of the road while just getting rid of the bumping. The red, orange, the orange line curve shows the bumpiness of the road, and the green one shows how people feel. So that's why we say that you feel it's a very smooth driving experience. In addition, in that split second before you, when you brake it, there is a smooth touch to how it's broke, to how the brakes are applied. So the braking is also smooth. The tuning radius is only 5.7 meters, and for this full-size high-performance sedan, it is very flexible for such a. Size of a sedan, so you can check it out yourself during the sex、uh, during the taxi drive. In addition, it's also very fun to drive around. Let's check out the other functions. First, we have the launch control. It's able to provide you with a very good sensation. It's a very good. It's a very good food feeling. Second, there is a booster mode. It delivers the maximum power output within 20 seconds. In addition, we also provided the sport sound system. So it it is also giving you a very sporty car feelings and sensations when you drive. We created some synthesis of 110 tracks. At start, I thought it was easy, but then turns out to be difficult. Let's hear it. So it gives a very sporty feeling. It's a very sporty feeling. In addition, we also have some self-defined driving mode. It is able to simulate the, the other driving modes of classic cars, and it's very—you can easily set it to drifting mode. 
and what is the tra drifting mode? That is when you turn off the traction control, turn off the vehicle stabilization system, and all power up output is transferred to the rear wheels. Now you have a rear wheel drive with great horsepower. Now let's check the video over drifting. Isn't this awesome? I actually have learned drifting myself. Next time I can show you my drifting skill. Uh, but I'm not that good yet, so don't laugh at me. So if I say SU7 is a very drivable car, it doesn't just, it doesn't really do its justice. So you should check it out and do a testy drive yourself. Next thing, 4A EV, the range is a very important topic for the electric cars. And for all models, we have a long range, just as I've mentioned in Weibo yesterday. We start at 700 kilometers. Even this is in the CLTC mode, we have 700 kilometers. We know that the range of EV vary from the, in very factors. For example, the temperature. Second is if it's on the highway. Because the speed has a lot to do with the if, with the range. And third is also about your driving habits. If you hit on the paddle more quickly and aggressively, it also reduces the range. That's why we say if you hit the brakes more smoothly, it saves the range. But our range guarantees that you only need to charge one time for one week for commute. And the reason today we did a test in Guangzhou. So this is our base model, and we have the 700 kilometers. And this is what people call the entry level. And we do it on the highway 120 kilometers. The average, the average speed is around 97 kilometers. But because sometimes there is a traffic jam, but uh, it's capped at 110 or 120. And in this speed, it starts at the final result is 495. But it guarantees at least four to five hours on the high on the highway. So last year, at the end of last year, our range was 668, but now it changed to 700 kilometers. Maybe people will wonder why the change. Uh, but just three, diff just three months, we have a big jump. We know, we've noticed that people have a really strong desire for long range. That's why we have equipped Michelin low drag hubs wheel and we have update we have updated our advertisement so in this way you are able to have all of the Michelin wheel hub and have the 700 range this is the work we do I believe that of uh, so in the future if there are anything you feel we can do better please let us know How do we compare this base model with Model 3? Uh, we have uh, our range increased by 133 kilometers. So for some fa car factories, even it's just increased by 100 kilometers range, the price will jump significantly. But we have uh, inc we also increased drastically as well, and also the voltage. 
So this is what people are really curious about. But when we talk about price, we also have to talk about the configurations, right? Otherwise, it's meaningless. Sometimes the car, if the cars are cheap, but they only have 400 range, but we start at 700 range. That's why I have to emphasize range. Range is the most expensive configuration for the EV because even one voltage or even one kilometer, it means a big difference in the price. But luckily, we didn't start at that era. We didn't have to buy coal or core in South Africa. But recently, of course, the price in batteries has dropped a little bit. But it still accounts for 30 to 35 percent of the total cost. So out of the, all the voltage we have, one voltage means uh, a lot of uh, big difference in the cost. And that's why if you want to have a good range, you either have to invest the big money, burn the money, or you have to invest in the technology. So we invest, invested in technology as well as in the money. So first, we ha have to have a very low drag coefficient. And we have the whole body silicon carbonate lightweight. And we have really excellent heat management. We also have low drag hops wheel. So we have done excellent work in each of it. Well, I have done test the drive uh, many times myself. I think there are still lots of ways to be improved and updated. Range is really important for the EV. Of course, I, I know there will be still be factors to be improved and to be updated. But I believe range really represent the core technology of the EV. This is our high-end model. We know that a good performance means a big drain on the battery. For, so for this model, we have, we rate our range is 810 kilometer. So in the four-wheel cars and all the high-performance four-wheel, four-wheel cars, the performance is leading the industry. So I have to, I got to say leading the industry. So for the, the zero to 100, Acceleration on under three seconds and the range over 800 meters. Xiaomi SU7 is the only one. Apart from the long range, we also have faster charging. And how did we? How do we do in faster charging? We have the whole across the whole models silicon carbonate. We have the compressor and the charger. All of them are silicon carbonate. And the vol we have the 800 voltage high power platform. Uh, here I have to emphasize that when sometimes when it's over 550, people say it's 800. But we really hit go over 800. We reached 871 voltage. But here we continued to do technologic, technological improving. The whole charging is uh, optimized, uh, optimized char charging technology, and it's able to further improve the charging time. So in 15 minutes, we are able to charge 510 kilometers. So just in 15 minutes is enough to last you for 500 kilometers. And for our base model, we use 486 voltage and the 400 400 voltage platform. For this model, it's able to charge 350 kilometers in 15 minutes. If we compare with model three, we are 100 kilometers more. In all the technological factors, we reached the best. 
Now, talking about charging stations, we know that 95% of them are public charging stations. So the first thing we want to do is that it has to be compatible. It has to be, it has to have a high compatibility. So for this, it's actually more problematic than you imagine. And in order to do a good job, we have done it in over 300 uh, cities, and we tested over 148 different companies and tested 2,000 stations. In total, we tested 70,000 times of the charging stations. We also helped them help the charging station to solve more than 500 problems. And while we were doing this, we have experienced the, we improved the overall charging experience for the industry. For example, for the uh, most common public charging station, our voltage is mu much higher than Model 3. And this is a authority certification body reviews, and they say it shows that the compatibility is more than 99 percent. And some of the competitors may be less than 90 percent. It means every time, every 10 times you charge, there will be one time that is not compatible. So we are the most compatible one in the market. Of course, we also provide, we also prepared home charging stations that is 11 kilowatt kW. We also have a manufacturer, we also have a prepared Xiaomi home power exchange adapter. It supports 2.8 kilowatt and uh, as well as to discharge the power. And what's used for the discharge? So, for example, when you go camping, uh, it's able, your car is able to pro provide power. Now we're building our supercharging station with 600 kilowatts of liquid charging solution. Now we're rolling out in Beijing, Shanghai, and Hangzhou. As we start shipping, we're stepping up on our charging network. And I've talked about the best looking, the easiest to drive. But the best about SU7 is a smart ecosystem. Speaking of smart cars, my understanding is that car, smart, and EV, in the last three years, the highest barriers is in the EV. But the next decade, the biggest problem is about how to be smart. And I cannot stress more, the future competition lies in smartness, which is our string, strong suit. With 14 years' experience in smartphones, we will apply the experience and expertise we accumulated on our EV and our car EV smart ecosystem um, will seamlessly connect all devices in the ecosystem. And smartness is the soul of our EV. And I would like to talk about it in four aspects. First, smart driving. In the last launch event, I talked about the algorithm and Xiaomi autopilot. Today, we want to tell you about our investment on our autopilot. We're very uh, committed. So our team now is about 1,000 people, and by the end of the year, we will exceed 1,500. And by the end of this year, we will enter the first tier of car makers. We have two models, the Xiaomi Pilot Pro and Xiaomi Pilot Max. And Pro is purely visual solution, while Max is vision um, plus um, LiDAR, while Tesla uses pure visual solution. But in China, uh, because of the lag, um, we actually have to do two solutions in parallel. Maybe in the future, we'll all enter the pure visual solution stage. Here, I want to tell you, 
We do two solutions. We follow several principles. First, same technology for various configurations. So it is available to across all models because I don't think any company can um, actually maintain two solutions. So usually they would do the higher end model themselves and leave the lower model, um, base model to OEMs. But OEMs will have a hard time catching up with the latest technology. And there are six, seven players in this area. If you are fully committed to smart strategy, this is also um, the future uh, competition um, priority. And both models use the Orin platform, 11 HD camera, and full stack self-developed algorithm. In the last three years, we have built our in-house testing fleet uh, with a total testing mileage of over 10 million kilometers. And our simulation capability exceeds 250 million kilometers. People set high standard for us. We want to debut our car with the greatest user experience. So we provide an autopilot across all models, and the highway NOA is delivered, will be delivered upon launch. And now the highway NOA has been tested in 300 cities and will be available across the country. And we support auto parking. And autopilot is available to all models. And in every city, we tested the auto parking, all kinds of parking slots in the underground parking lot. The completion rate is over 95%. And all models um, are equipped with uh, mechanical car location technology, even when the narrow is, uh, there's narrow um, edges. And it's end-to-end -end sensing, completely different from the previous algorithm even when parking in challenging scenarios. So we're the only one um, adopting such a technology in this class. Now our competition is heating up on city NOA. And I'd like to tell you about our progress. And we have invited media friends for our NOA testing. And in April, we'll start the user testing and in May, we'll roll out in 10 cities. In August, we'll roll out nationwide. Those test drive videos will soon be available. And let's look at our internal road test video. I hope during your test drive, you will give City NOA a try. I would like to briefly talk about um, the smart cabin. There are five screens in total. The central um, touch screen, the HUD, and two tablets in the back seats. So five screens interconnected. Let's look at 
each of them. There's a 16.1 inch 3K HD screen powered by Snapdragon 9875. And this is the best card chip in the market, very smooth operation. And last time I told you about the screen, we selected an ultra-large tablet for it because we want to improve the compatibility with the apps. When you make display screens in all sizes, it actually creates huge challenge to the apps ecosystem. So with 10 years of experience in tablet making, we make it a standardized tablet. So all apps are available on this tablet. Let's show you a small demo. Open the spoiler. What you see is what you get. Just one click, you can open the spoiler. Open the boot, turn on the AC. The whole system is very smooth. And the vehicle OS adopts a flexible framework that uses widgets. You can move around and resize apps to your liking. Smartphone car interconnectivity is also one of our strong suits. When your phone is brought into the cabin, the console automatically display an icon. You can open the phone's interface with a single touch. And with one touch, your interface can go full screen. Say you're watching a movie on your phone. With one touch, you can watch it on the big touch screen, enjoy immersive film experience in the car. Your favorite smartphone apps can be pinned to the car's infotainment system for future use. They run just like in-car native apps. So the best about this OS that it really consider the compatibility uh, of um, software's ecosystem. And there are many other functions I don't have time to tell you about. And next is car home interconnectivity, how your car interacts with your home. You can get your car ready with a voice. In summer, before you leave your home, you can tell your car to turn on the AC. And we have added voice print recognition to limit the access so that your kids cannot mess around. In your car, through media, you can control your home smart devices. You can remotely control your camera to check your home. When your doorbell rings, you can get a notification. With one click, you can talk to the person and receive your delivery. When you drive into your compound, the home scenario is activated. Your home and car are connected seamlessly. But there are many other scenarios. Let's look at rear displays. It's just a Xiaomi tablet. But this is redesigned, repurposed for SU7. The 6S Pro, 3K high definition screen, empowered by Gen 2 Snapdragon processor. And there's a three pin location. And we have also designed a um, back seat um, holder set. I would like to tell you about the ecosystem. When the tablet is mounted, it's a part of the vehicle OS. The rear passenger can easily adjust the front seat, can push it forward, and the rear passenger can set navigation destination or add destinations or check live traffic. When listening to music, both screens can sync lyrics. So it's a great for karaoke. We have made a karaoke microphone. When you have your kids at the back, from the touch screen, you can select movies, animations for your kids. So we have designed 
a complete interaction between different screens. Next, Xiao Ai, voice assistant, one of the earliest voice assistants in China. Now we have a monthly active user over 100 million. It wakes up 200 million times a day, so it has a great fundamental capability. And let's look at how Xiao Ai controls the car. First of all, let's see how it rolls down the window. Pretty easy, right? Let's see how it controls the rear view mirror. And adjust HUD. So there are great functions. Another fun function, when you drive past the parking lot to um, tow booths, when everyone's fumbling to find their phone, you can have your QR code ready with a voice. A very useful function. Xiao Ai is also good at giving you instruction about the car. If you don't know how to use the launch mode, you can just ask her. She would teach you how to use launch mode. In the cabin, we allow voice interaction from every seat. Even when you sit in the middle of the back seat, Xiao Ai can answer you and interact with you accurately. Xiao Ai has adopted large language model. We developed our 1.3b language model. And what's the use case? The most often demo is this. And once you buy SU7, you can paint this blue and white porcelain for your car. But why do we need this for driving? You can just do it on your phone. So we believe that the large language model needs to be combined with the multi-model sensing. It needs to understand the location, direction of the car, and all the cameras need to be connected and to engage in the large language model. And that makes Xiao Ai smarter. To give you another example, when you're about to enter a tunnel, you can ask Xiao Ai. When you're on a road trip, you can ask about what's the reverse name you just drive past. And a more often asked question. Right? So that's how we combine the sensing capability and large language model. At the current stage, people are trying to use large language model for more use case to solve real problems. We have prepared a video to tell you Xiao Ai's full capability.停下停下了甚至跨界的想法他也能心领神会我的手机掉了吗打开家里的扫地机器人打开家里的摄像头小爱同学我在打开手机复活码完成了大家在AI大模型的他无所不知有没有离轨迹和望京都很近的川菜
，满足你的所有好奇。有多少年历史？前面的山是什么山？金庸小说里哪些重要？这就是全新的小爱，更懂车的事，更懂设备的事，更懂你好奇的事。全新小爱大模型智能语音已登陆小米苏七。Xiao Ai is getting smarter by the day. Our human car home ecosystem is very powerful. The central touchscreen is expandable in all four directions. You can add a physical buttons. Is connected um, magnetically and by screws. You can. Adjust AC or other common functions, and the knob in the middle is for volume. It also supports AFC. When you tap your phone at the knob, it connects to the car Wi-Fi automatically. You can also add intelligent dual gauges to show time, speed, and range. When you interact with Xiao Ai, it responds with vivid emoticons. Very playful. And we also have wireless charging phone holder, which is connected to the smart cabin. If you forget your phone in the car, it will remind you. And you can also install ambient light. So it can change with the rhythm of the music, so you will feel very at. Atmospheric. Also, under the touch screen, we can also make it expandable. Here, you can pull it and to put all kinds of devices, the charging and also magnetic, and the、uh, magnet section. Here, you can also have a smart walkie-talkie set, and you can charge the walkie-talkie, and it can. Um, be connected to the steering wheel, and you can just talk to the steering wheel. You do not need to talk to the walkie-talkie anymore. Also, it can charge two walkie-talkies. So just in case, for this charging space, you can also charge the flashlights we have mentioned before. And this is the function we have provided. We can also put the walkie-talkie here. Here we can also put the smart aroma diffuser set. We can have three perfume sticks, five different concentrations, and it costs 399 RMB. Also, you can put a outdoor Bluetooth speaker here. It has very good. Audio effect, and、uh, it is tuned by Harman Kardon. It is very good for camping. Here, inside that, there is the ambient light, and it is magnetic suction here. It can be fixed to the car or to your. Tent. We also have other car IoT equipment. I would like to give you a few examples. For example, the child seat. If the seat belt is not fastened for the child seat, then there will be a reminder at the touch screen because it's connected to the whole car LT system. The whole car is very intelligent. We also designed very high quality commodities. For example, we have the very soft, very comfortable headrest, and also we have、uh, the storage box for the trunks and.、Uh, Front trunk. Also, the front trunk has similar storage spaces. In our app, we have very diversified and rich ecosystem. In the interest of time, I will not cover them all. You can go through them one by one in the app. So ecosystem is a very good weapon for us. Last time I talked about a topic that Apple has given up car making, and I think it's okay because we support the Apple ecosystem, and we can provide very good experience for the Apple users. 
So that is a very generous attitude from our company. We support the wireless CarPlay. We support the iPad. So we support the Apple ecosystem. And all the Apple users can feel the ecosystem. Smart and ecosystem are our core competitiveness. I would like to play a video for you. Can you imagine? 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 Can